Today we are going to be talking about how to create Etsy listing photos that are going to convert and ultimately make you more sales. So. Welcome back. Today, we are going to be talking about how to create Etsy listing photos that are going to convert, attract customers, and ultimately lead to more sales. So I'm going to be discussing Etsy listing photos specifically for digital and printable based products. That's the type of shop that I have. I am a top 5% seller. I'm so close to being a top 4%, but right now I am 5%. And I want to share with you guys some of my top tips for best practices, planning and research, as well as the actual design process of how to create listing photos. So let's get started. So first we're going to talk a little bit about the planning, research, and kind of just general best practices when it comes to creating listing photos. My first recommendation is look at competition. And if we kind of go in and we drill down into Etsy, let's say that for the, the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be creating an Etsy listing photo for my own Etsy product, which is for my Etsy success guide. It is a 27 page workbook that leads you through exactly how to make money on Etsy selling digital and printable based products. I already have this listed. My listing photos are converting really well, um, but it is something that I'm familiar with and there's nothing wrong with creating some new fresh designs. So I am going to go through that process with you guys today using one of my products. So for the sake of, of keeping that in mind, let's go in and do some research. So you will search for the keywords that your customers would be using to find your product. So in my case, it would be Etsy printable shop planner. I'm just using some general search terms and I am looking for, you can see my product comes up on the very first page, which is awesome, but I'm just going to be looking at some of the top sellers and getting inspiration from their listing photos and seeing what is converting and for some that maybe aren't converting what I should stay away from. So if we drill down into this, I do want to say a couple of things. First of all, this right here is my product and some things that uh, make it high converting is one, I have keywords within the listing photo. It is bright. It is professional. It is very easy to understand what I'm going to be selling. And it has some photographs of the actual product itself so people can kind of see what it is. Versus this one up here, <clears throat> for example, just kind of tells you a, a short summary of the product on the the listing, it doesn't actually show what the product looks like. So people can't imagine what the product is that they're actually going to be receiving. So let's go back and look at a couple more. See, this is a good example as well, because on the left hand side, it has the keywords, the shop title, the product listing title, how it's going to be delivered. It even lets people know that there's some freebies inside, which is a great, um, great uh, way to attract sales. And then it also gives you kind of a snapshot of what you can expect to see within the actual product. So do your research, find some similar listing photos that are going to, that are doing well, that are selling and use that as inspiration. So for example, I really like this one. I'm not sure that I really like the colors, um, but I do really like that it outlines exactly what this product is and a lot of really great photos inside of it. So in this example, I'm gonna use this one as some inspiration and let's talk about some general best practices of what to expect. So as you're creating listing photos, you want to create a minimum of seven to eight. Etsy lets you upload 10. It prefers that you have as many listing photos as it will allow you to upload. Try to create at least seven, eight, use up all the spots if you can. Um, Etsy prefers it and your consumer is going to want to see more graphics outlining what the product is. So keep that in mind. Additionally, you're going to want to plan on creating a video aspect as well. So you can upload a short music free, audio free, 
video to your listing as well. And Etsy prefers and boosts up products that are using the video feature within its general algorithm, so it just makes sense. So now that we talked about that, we talked about playing on 10 photos, seven to eight, playing on a video, and research competitive products within your niche so that you can see what is converting for your competitors and what is not converting for your competitors. Now, let's go into Canva and let's actually do some designing. All right, so when you get into Canva, you're gonna create a design up here and I would do custom size. Now, the size that I do would be 3000 pixels by 2400 pixels is gonna be the design size that you want. You're gonna name these by clicking in this little box up here and we're gonna do revise Etsy printable success guide listing photos. Trust me, you want to name your files, thank me later. And from here, we are gonna start designing. Now, I recommend using templates. For example, I have templates for sale. Save yourself a headache so you don't have to create these from scratch. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna share with you how to create them from scratch. So we're gonna start with a background color. So I'm just gonna click on the, um, the, the picture and I'm gonna click the little color box and I'm gonna choose this color. Um, it, okay, so I'm gonna choose this one and then I'm gonna change it a little bit just to be a little bit lighter or, okay. Then I'm going to create and add kind of a rectangle to kind of the middle of it. And I'm just gonna adjust the size by dropping and dragging the cursor to where exactly however big you want it to be. So I'm gonna do that big and I'm gonna center it. The great thing about Canva is it will tell you with the grid lines exactly when you are centered. And then I'm gonna change the color to this color. And then we're gonna add some text here. Now you can just click on the background space and type in T and it will add text and you can just edit it. And so here I'm going to say Etsy printables success guide and I'm going to double click it, change it to white, change it to bold, and increase the size. You can increase the size just by clicking the plus button or just by moving the cursors there. Now I'm gonna add some more text. 27 page workbook leading you through exactly how to create profitable Etsy printable or digital based shop. All right, let's make that a lot smaller. Okay, now we're gonna come back and change the font and do some more editing, but I wanna just kind of get the basics on the page. So from here, we're gonna add some background photos of the actual product. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open up my product and then I'm just gonna take some screenshots of the actual product itself. Let's take some screenshots. Now let's upload those screenshots. All right, then we are gonna start placing them just by clicking and adjusting the size. placed all of my listings and now it's looking a little messy. That's okay. Let's just select all of these right here. And I'm doing that by just holding my left mouse clicker down. All right, then I'm going to edit these images and add shadows. So I'm going to edit image shadows and then I'm going to a glow. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Lots of noise going on upstairs. <laughs> And I'm really liking this so far. It really nicely showcases my product. It has keywords front and center. Let's go ahead and just edit some of the, the text here right in the middle. So I just clicked, I just selected it. I just clicked in it, right? And then I'm going to go to this little spacing icon and I'm gonna do the line spacing a little bit bigger just so that that is front and center. Oh, the dog's barking. Then I'm gonna go to effects and I'm gonna do a shadow 
I'm going to change the color of the shadow by selecting the color box and I want it to be something that is part of my brand. I also want it to be, make it kind of stand out a little bit more. So let's turn up the transparency all the way to do it there and then decrease that i think that looks good i'm gonna move this down a little bit make it a little bit smaller and that's that right so it's really as simple as that now we do that 10 more times or nine more times um using some of the examples or like i said before if you want a simple way to just drop and drag and you don't want to have to mess with creating your own go check out my etsy listings templates down below just to take the headache out of some of it. Otherwise, create these converting SC listing photos and good luck with your printable and digital based Etsy shop. Bye!